What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're going to be talking about the new RTX 2080 and 2070 and when these GPUs might be put into laptops. Now I gotta say none of this is official. This is going to be me looking at Nvidia's release history for the last two GPU releases as well as what they've released so far about the desktop GPU and my best guesses about what the laptop GPUs might look like. I currently can't find any information on this. I will try to keep you guys updated if some reliable leaks and rumors come out, but this is the best I can do for now. So let's hop right into it. So the first question I want to talk about is when will these graphics cards be released in laptops? Like when can you go to the store and actually buy one from Best Buy or Amazon or Newegg or whatever? Taking a look at the previous launches from Nvidia, for the 900 series we had the desktop GTX 980 and 970 both announced and released in the month of September. 2014. Now the laptop versions, the 970M and 980M were announced and released in October 2014. So that is only one month after the desktop versions were released. Then we have the medium sized, more budget friendly GTX 960 released in January 2015. The middle tier 965M was released in January 2015. Now with the GTX 1080, it was both announced and released in May 2016. The 10 70 was released in June, the 1060 was released in July, and the laptop graphics cards were finally announced in August 2016 and released in the middle of September 2016. So that means with the 1000 series graphics cards, it took approximately four months from the announcement of the desktop GPU to the actual mobile GPUs being available for purchase, at least the beginning of them, and it took probably five months before they were fully available in most manufactured laptops. Based on the last two releases of NVIDIA graphics cards, we can see that NVIDIA is very erratic with how they release their desktop and laptop GPUs. Now for the 2000 series, we have them officially announced on August 20th and officially being released on September 20th. I think best case scenario, we're looking at at least one month out from the laptop GPUs being announced and worst case scenario we're probably looking at six months or maybe to a year if Nvidia really wants to hold off and wait until their seven nanometer manufacturing process is ready. Essentially the answer to when these new graphics cards will be released is we have no freaking clue. Nvidia is extremely erratic when it comes to their GPU launches, but we can guesstimate based on their past history that it'll probably be between one to four months as a general ballpark. Now the question is how powerful will the 2080 and 2070 laptop GPUs actually be? Now I think we need to have our expectations take a bit of a hit this time. Now the GTX 1080 was rated for 180 watts. The GTX 2080 for the desktop is rated for up to 225 watts in the Founders Edition or the non-Founders Edition is 215 watts. Now that is a 19.4% power increase and I think we're likely to see at least about a 19 to 20% performance increase as a minimum. We really don't know exactly how much a performance increase that we're talking. And this is just in the desktop CPU department. Now here's the reason why I think we need to have our expectations tapered down a bit. Nvidia is raising the performance of their desktop CPUs by increasing the total power limit throughput. With desktops, that is perfectly fine. But with laptops, you're limited by how much power you can possibly put through it. Unless you're okay with hauling a two inch behemoth laptop, you're not gonna be able to fit the new 2080 GPU unless they significantly weaken it down by maybe reducing the CUDA core count, reducing some other aspect of the GPU, slowing its clock speed down, et cetera, et cetera. We really don't know exactly what Nvidia might do, but most likely, because of this increased power limit, at the very least, the laptop GPU will probably be gimped quite a bit compared to the desktop version by at least probably 10 to 20%. If Nvidia decides to hold off on releasing the graphics cards, this will be the reason because they want to have a significant power jump between each iteration of the graphics cards. I think if anything, the main advantage to the do 2080, even if it is gimped, is that it'll have the new ray tracing, which if you're a fan of that, which I definitely am, for single player adventure games, ray tracing is gonna be freaking amazing. For competitive shooters like PUBG, Fortnite, Battlefield 5, which will actually feature ray tracing, I will probably turn it off because I really wanna have maximum possible frame rate. Ideally, I want at least 100 frames per second non-stop, and if ray tracing costs me that frame rate to go below 100, it's an instant 
feature off mode because I care about getting kills in competitive multiplayer more than I care about what the graphics look like. The long and short of it is I'm surprisingly not that psyched about the new 2080 graphics cards in laptops. Like I said, because the main advantage of the desktop version is they can increase the power throughput. Well, you can't do that with a laptop anyway. So I don't think we're gonna have more than a 20% performance bump most likely in the laptop department for this year. But like I said at the beginning of the video, this is all pure speculation at this point. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. There's a lot of very experienced people out there and I am always reading the comments. Now I also have a couple giveaways going on. I'll have links in the top comment down below if you'd like to enter those. There's an iPhone 10, a Note 9, electric skateboard, a Razer Blade Pro gaming laptop. Lots of great prizes available in those giveaways. So that's it for this episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. I'll be bringing you guys reviews of the 2080 and the 2080 Ti in the near future. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on those. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, tap that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon out.